Mr. Belgrave and he was rescued by Paul last night. He'd been caught in a between two palings and a fence for about a couple of days. Let's see if he wants some nani for breakfast. Let's see. Oh, he'd have some nani. Oh, he's a hungry man. So he's done some damage to his thumb. The rest of him's fine. He was terribly thirsty last night and very hungry. Want some more nani, darling? Good boy. So we've just got to treat his thumb um, and make sure that it's carefully cared for. Thumbs are terribly important to, to flying foxes. <clears throat> they use them for climbing and grooming and all sorts of things and also for holding the girls when they're mating. So we really... Oh, sweetie, you're okay. He's very frightened. They're going to eat the nanny? And there's not a lot of um, skin on thumbs there. You're right, eat your nanny up, darling. There's not a lot of skin on thumbs, so they've got to be treated very carefully. Yep, four bats in yesterday. Um, we had a, had a busy day, didn't we? Yeah, we did. He's you're very frightened, don't you? My goodness, you can eat your nanny. He'll settle down. He's actually well enough today after I fill him up with some juice. I'm going to put him out in the main flight Avery with the other bats. Because at this point, he's just... Um, Oh, sweetie, it's okay. He's just very, very... It's okay. You're very, very frightened. You'll be okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll let him finish his nanny and give him a big drink and um, take him outside. You can have some nice batty company. That'll make you happy, I think. You can eat your nanny in peace, then. <laughs>